What's up everyone? It's your stupidity back again with another helpful video. This time we're going to do Tyrant Mine. I'm going to show you the three secret areas. And I've also got one of my mates, Rabid Mass, with me, rocking the Colossus. So, I'm going to be cutting these videos down just due to time constraints. Um, first things first, watch out for those mines, they blow up, they hurt. Now, as you can see, I'm on my interceptor. I always tend to go for these turrets first. Rabid Mass is going to be following me a lot because he's uh, priming everything. So we can combo it out and get it down nice and fast. have to say he's got a nice looking Colossus. So we take out this first turret and then we move on to the second one which is just behind it. Um, you can actually use these turrets as cover so nothing else can shoot you. So long as you position yourself right on them. As you can see, I have to sort of dash around the side because I was getting shot. Rabbit Mass comes in, he's still priming everything for me as we're going along. So worth a mention, this is Grandmaster 2 difficulty. My interceptor's only 718. I forget what Rabbit Mass is at. He's close to 700 as well. Um, so after you get rid of the turrets, start working on all the little ones. They, uh, they don't last very long, just prime them, kill them, do what you need to do. Um, watch out for the big guys with the machine gun, minigun things. Um, they've got quite a lot of shield, they will just rip you apart with their machine guns. Uh, you get a couple of waves coming out of each portal at this beginning part. Um, so just nuke them down, stay in the area, uh, back out if you need to recover your shield. Um, as an interceptor, I'm dashing back and forth between everything that's getting primed and just doing damage to everything. Now, as you can see as I'm going around, you can see the, the glowing orbs, which are the echoes. You need to collect them to silence the relic. Um, that will move you on to the next bit. But some of the echoes on this are actually further up the track. But I do still advise on killing everything in this first area before moving up. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, normally I would say stick as a team to work further up the track on the rest of the echoes and the minions, but you can actually go to the second area around the back way and take out the turrets and then it'll just stop you having to deal with them and all of the mobs as well. A um, little bit annoying sometimes, but yeah, crack on with it, get it done, go back and help. Just makes things quicker for the next stage. So as you can see here, me and Rabbit Mass then fly back and help take out everything else before carrying on to the second zone. Now this is the second zone. You've already taken out the turrets, so you don't need to worry about them. It's the exact same mobs, uh, same guys with the shields and the miniguns, plus you've got snipers. You actually have to collect uh, seven or eight of the echoes first, and then the second wave of creatures or mobs will come in. Um, target the guy that's got the target above him. If you kill him down nice and fast, it'll stop more and more mobs spawning in. And then as soon as you've killed him, you can collect the four echoes that are behind the cages to silence the relic. Yeah, so you kill the big guy down nice and fast, pick up your chest, have a scout round for any loot. Now if you come back towards this area, and if you look directly down from this platform, you will see some creatures that have just spawned in and you'll have an elite shielded guy there to nuke down. Obviously, it's not guaranteed masterworks or legendaries or anything, it's just more creatures to kill, which obviously help increase your, your loot chance. Um, but this gets missed out a lot because people sort of jump ahead. We've actually, me and Rabid Mass were expecting the other two just to carry on and teleport us away from it. But they actually joined us, which was nice. I think they were more interested in what we were doing. But yeah, kill these guys down, see if you get anything. If not, not a big deal. As you can see, we're all priming and targeting and setting him up and detonating him. 
Brilliant teamwork here. So yeah, as soon as you've killed this one, you can literally look up and to the right and you will see that's where you need to go anyway. So you can fly straight up, hit the waterfall to cool your jets and then get to the next part. So as you carry through guys, through all these tunnels, kill everything. Every time you kill a mob, it's an extra roll or an extra chance of getting some loot. Now this is the second area. As soon as you've reached this area where the water is, if you fly straight up, you'll see the tunnel. There are mobs up here, there are some eggs up here that spawn mob, mobs in, so just kill them. You can see Rabid Mass follows me up. Um, we actually only just managed to kill everything up here in time before we got uh, teleported. Um, which brings me on to the next point. The next secret zone is actually down in the water. It's quite easy to find when you know where it is. There's only one mob at the end of it which I'll show you now any second. So here you are, this is us getting teleported away from where we was. Just go back into the water. Even if you've missed that first tunnel, you can go back to it, so don't panic too much. So go back to the beginning where you'd first enter the water. Look out for like a green glow up on the left here, but if you're doing it from the beginning, it'll be on the right. Follow it through, um, just keep going forward. Jellyfish are annoying as hell. Um, but yeah, carry through. You'll see a, a giant crab-like creature there. Kill it, knock it down. You'll actually have some dialogue about the ruins in this area as well, which I thought was quite good. Right, so next objective, guys. You have to pick up all the relics from down in the tunnels and place them into uh, the glowing orbs to silence them. Um, basically, after you've placed two, uh, you'll have a load of scars. Come in, tunnel in, port in, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you nuke them down, and you get a chance to kill them all, obviously, possibility of more loot. If you continue to collect all the little boxes that you need and put them in, they will actually run away. Um, so yeah, what I would suggest doing, especially if you're in a group of four, is collect two, place them in, kill all the scars, collect another two, place them in, and then you'll have some more scars pop in, which is, again, more of a loot chance. If not, if you're just going after a speed run, collect them, put them in, have it over and done with. Right, so when you get the last box and you put it into the relic to silence it, this is your objective. Stay on the area, stop all these creatures from coming up so the signal can build. Now, lots of people do this lots of different ways, but the easiest way I find is prime everything, nuke everything. Normally, hopefully, one of your teammates is taking care of all the electrical balls in the background. So when you go back up to replenish your shield, you don't just get grounded because of the electrical ball. Um, as you can see, Rabid Mass, myself, priming, detonating, doing what we need to. I see all the electrical balls back, so I run back, kill them nice and fast. They do spawn in every couple of seconds, so uh, you'll want someone looking out for them. Now, I remember playing this the first time I ever did it was on the... Uh, the, uh, the, the, the demo, if you will, the alpha, the beta, whatever it was. Um, and I love this. It just reminded me so much of like Starship Troopers, you know. Come on, you want to live forever? Kill them all. It was great. I really enjoyed this. All right, well, you made it right to the end boss fight. So here we go. He jumps down in the same spot every single time, guys. Don't stand there, he'll one-shot you, and then we have to pick you up. Now, as you can see, I went down really fast there, because it just wouldn't activate my ultimate, so I have to wait to be picked up. Now, this boss is fairly simple. Watch out for his spitting balls he does, because it'll web you to the floor. Those great orangey, reddy, glowy balls on the side of him, that's what you're aiming at. There is weak point. Uh, weak point. If you manage to pop one, you can still hit the same area, it'll still do the extra critical damage. Um, you can prime him, you can detonate. Just carry on, nuke him down, dodge stuff. Watch out for all the, the little scorpions that he spawns in. They can get you from behind without you even realising it. Now as soon as he runs away like you see he's doing here, you can still do damage to him when he's going up the wall. Worth giving it a shot, every little bit helps. Now, whichever cave, cave wall he climbs up, the tunnel next to it is where all the minions are going to spawn in. 
Now you can build your ultimate back up really fast by priming and then detonating everything in that cave hole. Now it takes a little while for everyone to get used to it, but as soon as you start, you can get your ultimate back. Um, now that guy's down behind us, I, I couldn't go and get him. All these extra ads would have killed me and put me down yet again. So yeah, that's basically the fight. Just kill him. He, he doesn't really go into a rage mode. You just got to keep doing damage to him. Um, now in this area, there is a ledge that you can go up on if you're finding it particularly hard for you. Um, but no one likes that guy. Don't be that guy. You don't want to be. So there we are, boys. End of the fight now. Kill him. Get your loot. These cockies use them. Now, I skipped the video just to save some time. Plus, I did go down more than I would have liked to in this video. Um, but there we are. Big shout out to Rabid Mask, my mate. And, uh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to now this new stream coming out. Hopefully, they're going to reveal stuff about the sunken temple that we're hopefully getting at the end of the month or close to the end of the month um so yeah hopefully it'll be a new stronghold for us all to try out hopefully some new gear or whatever else new they're gonna give to us and uh, i will eventually put up a video about that as well as soon as i get used to it and played it once or twice see if i can help you guys out now if you guys like the video please like and subscribe you know i'd appreciate it a lot it does help and it just shows you know, my effort was worth it. Okay, thanks very much. And remember, strong alone, stronger together.